I think we need education for sustainability from the kindergarten kids um, until seniors. Maahan kerran eksy, viertävän keitaan näin, mut se kulki saman verran. Professor Dr. Martin Welp, thank you so much for accepting our invitation to the Ringband session. Welcome to a Mind the Gap production. Um, today, tonight, we're gonna talk about science, sustainability, education challenges and synergies mm -hmm. and before we start with very deep questions I would like to ask you a few more personal questions right so if you had one superpower which one would you choose one superpower oh <laughs> <laughs> um, influence on leading politicians in the world being able to convince them of a certain things, a couple of things. The Ringband Session are a project by Mind the Gap. Mind the Gap is a group that aims at building a bridge between society and science. Would mm -hmm. you agree that we need such a bridge? Definitely. I think there is great need for building these bridges. <laughs> of course there have been efforts to to build bridges between science and the society at large. Um, but I think the ways of communicating are changing quickly. Um, some remain, but I think we also need sort of new new ways, new approaches to it. Vaikka jatkoin matkustusta, koska on tullut ensin luo. Well, I don't know if we ever lived in a purely factual era, uh, but of course, uh, internet and new technology has provided the opportunity to create other kinds of media, and within this very um, fractioned media landscape, you can create your own community and your own group, your bubble, where you share the similar kinds of thoughts and and in that respect um, I think yes we are partly living in a post-factual era and some powerful vested interests are also taking use of these possibilities in influence in the public um, by having a very strategical communic or, or having a very clear communication strategy to provide people with disinformation, repeating things which are um, by many considered to be simply wrong, but they become truths if they are repeated uh, frequently enough. Which kind of interests? Well, I could give some examples about the climate debate in the US, for example, where um, big fossil fuel companies have been, um, on the other hand, financing scientific institutions, here again science comes into play, but using different kinds of media very effectively uh, to claim that climate change is nonsense. Eksyksissä kerran kuljin, sinut tyttö silloin näin, ja aika jaksoin. Well, I think scientists have a have a responsibility in um, educating the public about what science actually is about. That in science we also have differing views, but it's important to have this this uh, dialogue, and that there are certain claims which are not really grounded in any empirical or, or thoughtful science and um, the public understanding of science is sometimes um, 
not simply right. <laughs> we just arrived at Südkreuz and my next question is about education on sustainability. Is it a necessary step that we have to take in order to get to a more sustainable society? Uh, definitely, yes. Uh, education for sustainability can have very many different forms and uh, be at very different ages. I think we need education for sustainability from the kindergarten kids um, until seniors, so basically everybody. Vaikka jatkoin matkustusta, koska on tullut ensin luo, eksyksissä kerran... Of course, it's not enough to have only sustainability education. Um, that's part of it. We need policies which give the, which provide the right framework for people to be able to act in a more sustainable way. And looking at us, we have a certain range depending on what kind of lifestyle we have, how we can influence things. Uh, but it's the policies, the the taxis, uh, all kinds of regulations which set the framework for us. Eksyksissä kerran kuljin, sinut tyttö silloin näin, ja eikä jaksoin manin kuljin. People know, they may be, they may sort of blind it out, I think. Uh, they have worries of everyday life. They look at the world, the S-Bahn is going, uh, life is going on. Things seem to be to be quite okay in many respects when we look at Germany or Berlin. And maybe what is not that obvious is the impact that our lifestyle is having in other parts of the world. This is part of the system's thinking. Um, challenge uh, that actually our lifestyle is not sustainable. Now the question is are we in the midst of a sustainability transition or is it coming or will we never have a sustainability transition? It's easier to look at these things when we look back in history. Uh, there's many things that we don't see when we are sort of in the midst of it. but. Um, Many, many things make me also optimistic about the ability of our society to find solutions to these problems. Um, in many sense, uh, 10 years ago or 15 years ago when I was working at PIC, I thought that we would be faster in uh, changing energy uh, energy production and energy consumption station, Heidelberger Platz. so it's both slow Übergang and fast um, the sustainability transition yeah and yeah. we show our tickets <laughs> <laughs> now I'd like to go to some um, quicker mm. questions, yes or no questions, where um, I hope that your answer spontaneously yes or no, or this or this. All right. Um, first question, should scientists run governments? No. A scientist part of the so-called establishment? Yes. You're about to lose one of these two things. Um, playing guitar or your PhD? Choose now. Oh, <laughs> my PhD. You're not only a professor for social e social economics and communication, you're also a musician. And we would love it so much if you could play a little bit of guitar in the Ringbahn oh. and bring some joy <laughs> and happiness <laughs> at the end of this session. Sure. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Erämaahan kerran eksyi, viertävän keitaan näin. Vaikka kuljin saman verran, koskaan en sen päin. 
Taisi olla kangastusta, silmissäni näkyy tuo, vaikka jatkoin matkustusta, koska on tullut ensin luo. Eksyksissä kerran kuljin, sinut tyttö silloin näin, ja aika jaksoin manin kuljin, sinut mä tänsin Taisi olla kangastusta, silmissäni näkyy tuo, vaikka jatkoin matkustusta, koska on tullut ensin luo.